All right, someone had asked about this, so I put this together. This will actually be on the library, um, so this is now going to be the mission option. Um, so this one I'm calling Assemble. So basically, it's going to be uh, the parts of the blade are going to slowly come in and assemble the blade. Um, the timings on this are going to be a little harder for you to modify. You'll have to go into each individual step, um, but it'll be possible in the code. So it's, a, it's relatively quick. You could extend it if you wanted. I made it kind of quick just to try to give you uh, a quicker one. And then now there's a matching retraction option in the library also, and this one's disassemble, so it just does the same thing backwards. So uh, basically with OS4, you can just do any kind of transition you want, which pretty much anything you can think of now. You just have to spend a little time probably, but you can put together any ignition retraction any prion, just any effect, uh, you know, that's just everything that anybody's ever thought of, it's now possible pretty much. So I'll just show this one more time. So that's the assemble uh, ignition and then the disassemble retraction. And then since I'm doing this video, I figured I'd show all the other options that are currently on the library. So this is just as of now because, again, technically anything's possible. Um, so this is the, um, the center out ignition and then the center in retraction. So it just starts in the center and will expand in and out. And then the retraction is back to the center. And you can mix and match any of these ignitions and retractions. So these are on the enhanced screen. So any of the styles that are able to be edited or enhanced or customized, you can just choose your ignition retraction options and play around with them. Um, so again, this one is the uh, center out, center in. And then... Oops. This is going to be a center in ignition, and then a split retraction. So the top and bottom come into the middle, and then the retraction is going to be a split from the center and of course you can change the timings on all of this and then this is going to be the cycle up and cycle down so this is kind of like the Tron style and then cycle down and then these are the uh, this is the dual mode version but there's a couple responsive ignition and retraction so in dual mode if the blade's facing above horizontal, it's going to be one speed for ignition. Or no, I'm sorry, this is the, that was the spark tip. And then this should be the run-up retraction. So the run-up retraction does the opposite. It goes away from the blade. Um, so that looks great on fire. So this is the spark tip ignition, which will have a white spark that runs up. And then the run-up retraction. Oops, hit mute mode. And then this should be... This is the dual mode uh, responsive ignition and retraction. And this one, in dual mode, if the blade is above horizontal, it's going to be one speed. If it's below horizontal, it's a second speed. Um, same with retraction. So this one, when it's above horizontal, is going to be very quick. And the retraction will be quick. And then when it's facing down, it's a slower ignition and retraction. And you can flip that too. So in the library now, you can actually change the up and down speeds. Um, so I just made it so that you have uh, no control over them, um, but uh, dual mode only does two speeds, it's up or down. There's a responsive version which is very similar, but that actually straight up and straight down are the two extremes and any angle in between changes that speed going from those two extremes. Um, so, um, but again, this is uh, because I'm facing up, it's a quick ignition and retraction, and then when I'm facing down, it's a slower ignition and retraction. Um, so that's the dual mode. Um, and then, of course, there's standard ignition and retraction. Um, but there's just so many options now for just ignition and retraction, not, not even talking about all the other prion and stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, just take a look through the library, play with it. 4.4 um, was just put out last night. Um, we're still in beta. We're almost ready to go, though, according to Frederick. Um, I think there's one thing that's going to need to be changed. Um, but uh, we should be really close to an OS 4 release. If you're in there playing, 
um, and you're using any of the features and you find anything, just report it real quick. But I think uh, we're hopefully in the you know very near future we'll have an official release on this. So um, it's been uh, it's been a long time coming. I've been excited for it, but uh, Frederick's done a ton, and we're we're almost there. So. Hope you all enjoy, um, and especially once the OS4 releases, I'm sure there'll be even more ignition retraction stuff, but I just wanted to show off what we've got currently, um, particularly that new one. Um, so, thanks.